guys, how's it going? Today I'm planting a couple of blueberries in this giant terracotta pot, which is quite heavy. Aaron had to help me get it up here on this table and he's definitely gonna have to help me get it down when we're all finished. But we are also in the greenhouse today and that's where my blueberries are gonna stay for the next little bit till it warms up a tiny bit more. Um, and so I just wanted to talk through the whole process, like why I'm even planting them in a pot to begin with and then about the soil type, because I'm excited we're actually gonna be mixing up our own soil for these blueberries today. Um, so anyway, let's talk about the blueberries first I have two varieties here this one is called Spartan and I do have personal experience with both of these varieties and they're wonderful they bear loads I mean just bowls full of berries uh, this is a zone five through seven and they're both northern high bush varieties and they bear uh, early on in the season and then this one right here let me move it to the front this one's called Patriot so same northern high bush um, early bearing blueberry this one is a zone three through seven, which makes it even better for planting in a, con a container. The reason why I'm putting two blueberries in the same container is because I find um, just personally, I have the best success by planting more than one variety. They cross pollinate with each other. They bear more fruit. When they flower, the bees will come out, pollinate all of them. And I mean, just, we'll get so many more blueberries. Now, if you were to plant these outside in the landscape, they would get to be a pretty good size shrub, but when you put them in a container, it does restrict their growth size a little bit. And the fact that I'm putting two together, I think they can sense that and they do stay a little bit smaller. Um, I did pick the largest size of pot I could. I love terracotta. This is a 22 inch size container. Uh, and I think they'll live very happily in this container for quite a long time. The last set of blueberries I had in a container like this lasted six years. Um, they bared a ton of fruit and I just was really happy with uh, how long they lasted. I felt like that was pretty good. So a couple of the reasons why I'm planting them in a container is first off, I have the ability to move them into the greenhouse if I need to for the winter time. When you are planting anything you wanna winter over in a container, be it a shrub, perennial, um, blueberries like this, you want to choose varieties that are rated two zones lower than your growing zone. So I garden in a zone five, so it's safest to pick things that are a zone three, like this Patriot right here. That gives me a little bit of buffer. Now the Spartan is a zone five, which is a little bit more risky, but if I have the ability, if I have them in a container and have the ability to bring them in, I'm much better off. And the second reason why I'm planting them in this container is that I can control the soil. Blueberries like an acidic soil. We have very high alkaline soil. In fact, we don't even plant, most people don't even plant blueberries around here uh, in the garden because they just don't work. So we're kind of restricted to containers. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today is showing you my recipe. This is an experiment, first time I've done it. Uh, a recipe for acidic soil. You can buy pre-bag just acid soil mix, but I had the ingredients on hand, so that's what we're doing today. Blueberries like a soil pH of about four and a half to five and a half. In fact, if the pH gets even closer to neutral, the leaves will start to yellow, they'll start to stress out, and they won't bear as much fruit, which is not what we want. So I have all my ingredients here. I'm going to run through those. I have my um, organic potting mix. This is a one cubic foot bag. So I'm going to start by just pouring one of these bags into this container and then we'll add our other stuff. Next, I'm gonna add two cups of Hollytone. This is a fertilizer for acid-loving plants. So we'll mix that, incorporate it into the soil, and that will slowly feed our blueberries and keep them really happy. And the last ingredient is the soil acidifier right here. This is what will actually bring the soil pH down. And I'm gonna add in a half a cup. So I've got my first batch all mixed up in here and I prefer to do it one batch at a time because that's kind of how my recipe works, but also it's a lot easier to mix when you don't have to reach your hand all the way from the top of the pot filled with soil to the bottom. Um, so I'm just gonna keep doing the same recipe until I have a lip of about one to two inches at the top here and then we will plant the blueberries. So this is how it works. We add the soil acidifier into our soil uh, and the sulfur in the soil acidifier, that is what brings the pH down, but it's not in there in a way that's soluble for the plants to take up. It takes about two weeks in the soil for the soil microbes to break it down. So it needs to break down that elemental sulfur into sulfuric acid and that's what will bring the pH down and makes the plants happy. Uh, and it's a faster process when it's warm. And that's one of the reasons why I'm leaving this pot of blueberries in the greenhouse for a couple of weeks because I want that action to happen as quickly as possible. All right, so now I'm gonna finally plant these blueberries. I'm gonna create a hole for my first one here, and we're gonna go with the Patriot, see what the root systems look like. They look pretty darn good. You can see all the roots right there. Give them a light tease. They're, they're not bound in any, in any way, so it doesn't really need much. And then I'm just gonna make sure to plant them right at their current soil level. 
just like that. And I'm gonna leave these little yellow tags, they're not pretty, but I'll leave them on there until I have a chance to make some nice tags. Now the Spartan root system looks just about the same. All right, so you can see I left like a good one inch or a little bit more of a lip here, which makes it easier to water because you can get enough in there so it can fully saturate the roots, but it also leaves enough space so that your soil is not overflowing and making a mess everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna be putting these, like I said, in the greenhouse for about two weeks while the whole soil acidifying process is going on and it warms up a little bit more. And then I'll put them outside somewhere where they get a really long, strong block of morning sun. So I want them to get morning sun from you know, when the sun comes up until like early afternoon. Here in high desert where we don't have any humidity or cloud cover through the summer, it gets too hot for blueberries and they tend to scorch. So I like to give them a little bit of protection in the afternoon. It may be different for you. I know in more temperate climates, they can be in sun all day long and they're really, really happy. Um, they're typically a sun loving plant. Uh, and then I just give them consistent water. I don't let their pot dry completely out, but I don't keep them too soggy either. And that's just something you have to gauge based on where you keep it and how big of a pot you choose to put them in. And then one other thing you may have to do is put some bird netting on them, which you can buy at your garden center. They usually come in little pack, uh, packages. You can get like four by four sheets or whatever size you need uh, to protect your fruit from birds because birds, once they know where your blueberries are at, they will come and try to beat you to the fruit. So and we don't want that. We put too much work into our plants for that. So anyway, that's it for this video. So like if you take away anything from this video, blueberries like acidic soil. I think planting two of them together gets you better yields, debated topic, but that's my recommendation. Um, I love to have them in containers because I have the ability to move them around and protect them in the winter. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something and we will see you in the next one. Bye.